All right, so I had a question about doing more of the katas. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and film for you guys what we call long form number four or empty show. Empty show means first elbow form. And it's gonna be a form that's gonna involve a lot of elbows. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. about what I did in empty show. So in empty show, we start off in this horse stance position. The horse stance is simply, we're building strength in our legs, we're getting balanced, we're getting stronger, okay? The lower the horse stance, the more work you're gonna do. Ideally, I would like to be pretty low for my forearms, okay? Elbow straight behind you, you can push, you can push. I did this version, and this is strictly from my own competition days, but when I would do it for real, we would assist the elbow behind you. Maybe somebody got you in a bear hug, your elbow behind you. That's the idea behind the kata. Not that I'm saying that's what I want you to do. This one here, we were taught is somebody coming at you, a guy with a samurai helmet, I'm capturing the, the horn and I'm pulling him down and then I'm using, we call it dragon fist, and I'm using my knuckle right there into their neck. So that's what this one here is, there. Again, one more, elbow behind. I've also been taught this with size and a katana. So if this is here and I go, this might be me taking the sword and stabbing somebody behind me. I step forward, I'm blocking the front kick, I'm scoring a punch, I'm front kicking myself, I'm now blocking another technique, depending on what it is, probably a punch of some kind, and now, I'm stepping out, I'm hitting the person that's coming from behind me, as well as I'm hitting with a back fist to the groin, the person I was just defending against. Is it practical, is it logical? No, but that's what's, what I was taught is going on in this kata, and even in playing around when I've had other students and we all try to play it out, that's kind of what we have going on. Again, I do the exact same thing. All of my blocks in this kata, I'm doing knife handle blocks, this is supposed to be a little bit more of an intermediate or an advanced kata, so I have now the ability to low block or middle block open-handed and then be able to shift into punches as well. Versus like in Taiko Kiichi, the very first kata, everything is closed fist the whole time because it's the very first time we do anything and we're not really sure if the student or if the person can open and close their hand fast enough to make the moves happen. In every show, we're saying they can. Uh, is I'm doing a spear hand strike. That's one of the key points here, the spear hand strike. This technique here, uh, people have had controversy about. I was taught it's grabbing the collarbone, it's grabbing the rib cage, and we're trying to pull the two together to force them to turn. I don't know if I really buy that. It's just, again, what we were explained. Another guy said it was you raking in on, on their skin, and you're just kind of pulling their uh, armor or their clothing. And then I do a spear hand strike again, and do it. I do a spear hand strike a third time, and I would do it. Take that for what you want. This is considered a double spear hand strike. The jump and spin, I have no idea. If it's spoken, somebody sweeping me, nobody's ever explained that. So maybe one of you guys know what that's about. Go ahead and put in the comment section below what you think that is. I have also seen MP show done slightly different. And then finally, last but not least, when we do these uh, diagonal horse dance, I'm checking if everybody is down. So it's, a, it's called a double knife hand block or a moroto shuto, double knife hand block. And then I'm stepping back. And the idea was we're observing the battlefield. So when I'm here, I'm looking this way 
my peripheral vision is on this line. When I shift my stance and I look this way, my peripheral vision that was here is now here. So I can see all the way to here and still see the camera. And then again, I'm doing it one more time. So I'm checking everywhere. And then finally we go back to our horse stance and I now can see out. So I can see who or what is left, if anything, to know if I gotta keep going. So there you have a breakdown of MP Show. I did the entire form and then I also broke into certain areas of what those techniques mean or what they were taught to me to mean. I have not been a big proponent of katas for a really long time. I got away from them, I came back to them a little bit and then I've kind of got away from them again. I still do personally like katas, I think they're fun. And then I think it's something that is has some value if you know when and where and how to apply it. Well, cool. Well, you guys stay safe. Go ahead, do me a favor. Hit that like button if you like the video. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. We just broke 8,000. Thank you guys for that. And then last but not least, hit that bell icon, a ding ding, so you know when the next video is coming out from myself here, J.D. Olson, at Kishi Dojo Martial Arts Unleashed, and from all of us here at the Martial Arts Limited Association, you guys stay safe, keep training, Sensei J.D., and I'm out.